What's up guys, wanted to put another video on for this week on tips and tricks and how to get started in the market and basically everything that you're going to need uh, because you found the stock market, you're interested, and this week we have a very special topic and it's something that I think is so important and it's really overlooked and it's what gear do I need to get started trading? What setup do I need? What screen real estate? And I think the first thing you have to ask yourself because I'll kind of go through my journey a little bit is you have to understand like, what are your resources? And everybody wants to, you know, bum rush and, and, and just do a land rush for as much gear as they can. And I'll answer it like this. The more gear and the more screen real estate you have, the better chance you have. Just like the more money you have to start a guy that has 15K to lose or to, you know, get market tuition and to learn and trial and error and to put it in education versus the guy that has 2,000 has much better chance has just a much better chance. So the guy with 5,000 monitors versus a guy with just a phone has a better chance. You get to see more, you have more resources, you have more gear. But I started trading nine years ago and I had one desktop computer that I could watch charts on. Like a really you know cheap iMac that I had for five years. It was, it was really slow, it was really kind of laggy, but it worked. And it was one screen so I could see charts and I traded on my phone. And specifically, and still to this day, I do options for my phone every now and then on TD Ameritrade. It was a TD Ameritrade account. Not that I'm plugging them or anything, but that's what it was. So I would trade on my phone and I was more of a swing trader back then. So this goes into the next topic of conversation within this realm is what does your schedule look like? What does your life look like? And what style are you looking to achieve? Are you looking at longer, you know, time frames and, you know, kind of less hands-on like I talk about in other videos, like I want to swing trade, I want to do long-term options. I could really just place a trade on TD Ameritrade and look once a week or look in a month or look once a day versus the day trader like Alex Demis, for example, that needs four screens to really operate at that efficient level to make three or four million a year. So not that Al Alex could literally do it on one laptop or one screen because he's such a veteran and so he's you know he's the Kobe Bryant or the LeBron James of trading but guys when you're just starting out I don't want you to like go to Best Buy and open up a credit card and buy 10,000 screens in an industry where you go dude I don't even know if I like this like I risk money for a living maybe I'm not made for this you know what I mean so it's like I'm trying to be as real with you guys as possible I started on a phone I built accounts uh, I built an account in the first three years. I traded literally for the first two and a half years on my phone. It totally worked out. But with that comes trial and tribulation and trial and error. And so you have to understand, I would get shitty fills. I'd get really terrible fills. Um, I'd kind of do market orders. But I was, again, it wasn't as hands-on. It was more, hey, NVIDIA's running or Apple's running or a small cap, which I didn't really understand back then is running. Let me ride the coattails of this trend and get in. So I didn't, you know, and I wasn't using crazy size back then. I was kind of just learning. Um, but 200 shares on, you know, a $7 stock that moves $3 in a day, made some money or, you know, 50 shares on a, on a very volatile stock. So my point is, is get real and get realistic after you invest in education with how hands-on do you want to be with trading or investing or getting into the stock market. But to go back and kind of answer the question, this video, you know, Tosh, what gear do I need to get started? Guys, the more, the better. It's, it, it's, it's just like anything, the more resources you have to learn a skill, a craft, or whatever, you're gonna have better results. So ideally, in the beginning, I think that education is the most important thing as long as you can watch videos and as long as you can see what other traders have done or the content they put on, that's all that matters. So investing in education is obviously number one. It's not screen real estate is your problem. You don't know what you don't know and you don't know what to look for. So, you know, in the beginning, guys, make sure you have just at least one big screen. And when I say big, I mean an iMac or a laptop or a, a monitor attached to your PC, at least probably 24 inches. Um, you know, just, just figure, so, figure something out that's going to allow you to see how the job is done and what the content provides and, and, and why, say, say you're watching an MIC video, why Alex got in uh, this per particular stock or ticker and, and why did he cover here? Why do you short here? Why do you long or et cetera, et cetera. But 
I did it on a phone for the first two and a half years and I could have only did it on the phone. So it, it, it wasn't my excuse that I needed an iMac and a phone. So again, guys, like the more resources you have, but if you can pull a trigger, you can pull a trigger, but you're not going to want to pull a trigger until you know what you're looking for. So I'm very passionate about this, a little bit of my own life experience in there. And I don't want you guys to, again, get so ahead of yourselves that you get so excited and you watch one video on YouTube and this guy's claiming you'll make billions of dollars and you run to Best Buy, open up a credit card and get $10,000 in debt because you can quickly. The gear adds up. I've, I've literally spent over 15,000 on a desk before with monitors and, and PCs and, and setups and you know everything and everything. But the point is guys, is figure it out, evolve organically, but have a screen to start. Have as many resources you can to start. Just don't go crazy in the beginning. And then as you get better, and as you find your comfort zone and your niche, you're going to evolve and so will your desk setup. So if you guys like this video, um, I want you to reach out, ask questions. I just want to kind of mentor you guys a little bit and show you like what this looks like, what we've been through, how to get better, you know, resources to start. Text me at my business line, 213-458-5997 if you have any questions about anything I talked about today and we'll flush it out. And if you guys want to watch a free live webinar from Alex to Miz, like I said, you know, he's, he's the Kobe, Kobe Bryant or LeBron James of trading. And you want to watch this webinar where, you know, he talks about $700,000 trades and $18,000 common trades because that's pretty common for Alex on just a given day. Um, you're going to want to check this out. So myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. That's myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. Check it out and I'll see you guys next week.